what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel for those who don't know me my name is will i'm a real estate agent out here in los angeles california and on this channel i help real estate agents on their journey in the real estate industry so if you aren't already please make sure to subscribe to my channel today we have an extremely fun video we are going to be ranking the best lead generation sources on tier maker so i have it pulled up right over here let's go ahead and get right into it before we do this i just want to let you guys know something all of these lead generation sources that we're going to be going over can all be ranked at best if you use them and utilize them correctly it really is all dependent on you i'm just going to be giving you my thoughts and how i feel about each one and in more of a general perspective so let me name off all the lead generation sources that we have we have email marketing we have networking events open houses social media passing out business cards mailers zillow leads sphere of influence cold calling door knocking and video marketing once again all of these can be absolutely amazing ways to get business so i really don't want to see anybody in my comment section saying oh well this should have been best because i like it and whatever guys i know all of them can be absolutely amazing we're going to be ranking them on a general scale though seeing how all of them are so let's not waste any more time and get right into the video starting off with email marketing now I'm going to put email marketing in the solid tier. And the reason I'm going to do that is so first of all, email marketing is something that I actually use on constant contact. If you want to do email marketing as well, check the link in my description for a discount. I think email marketing is highly, highly underrated and is really one of my favorite tools because it allows me to follow up with my database on a weekly basis without really being annoying and going after them every single day, calling and texting them. This is a way for me to keep everybody updated with the market and let everybody know how everything is going. So it's a great way for me to stay connected with my community. Now, moving on to the next one, we have networking events. I'm going to put networking events at great. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because you don't know who you could run into at networking events um, that could possibly change your life. I've heard many stories from agents who constantly went to networking events and built great referral partners and now for the next one we have open houses and i know i recently spoke about open houses and how much i like them you know what i think i'm gonna go ahead and put open houses under great as well I'm, i was really deciding between solid and great but the reason why i put open houses under great is because especially for new agents if you're just getting into the industry I think this is something that you can do that could really help you get that business at first. You don't need to go up to anybody. You don't need to do anything. So for all my shy people out there, you know, you don't like cold calling or door knocking or making video content, which you should be. But if you're not going to do that, at least attend open houses because you're going to be able to have great conversations with people who are interested or know somebody who's interested. So I think it's amazing. Ooh, moving on to the next one, social media. Now, I don't know if any of you have caught this, but I have social media and video marketing as two different things here. For social media, I'm actually gonna put it at great. And I know many of you may be thinking like, why is it not at best, especially me being somebody who's a huge advocate for social media. The reason why I would not put social media at best is because if you're not using video marketing on social media, I don't think social media can be as effective as you want it to be. So if you add video marketing, I think social media is gonna be the best source ever, but this is why I'm making a distinction because many of you out there are on social media, but you're not making video content. And because of that, it doesn't deserve to be in the best tier. So we're gonna put video marketing at best for lead generation sources. Yes, it is the best. It will continue to be the best for a long time because this is what people are looking for. Clients and people in the market are looking for authorities who can step up and make videos to help them with what they are looking for. We have a lot of cold callers. We have a lot of door knockers. It's time for real estate agents to do stuff that other agents are not willing to do. And that's why I think video marketing is king because it is in very, very high demand right now. Now, moving on to the next one, passing out business cards. Uh, I'm going to be honest, guys, like I kind of want to put it in the terrible category, but I'm going to put it in meh category. And the reason why I want to put it there is, again, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, 
this is something that could be effective. I've heard of people who were in grocery store parking lots passing out business cards and it really did work for them, okay? We've heard the stories. But again, if we're speaking generally, I think there's so much better things that you could do with your time. Mailers, oh man, this is something that is underrated. Uh, I think, well, do I wanna say it's overused? I don't think it's overused. I, it depends really what area you're in. So maybe in your area it is overused other areas it's not but you know what i'm actually going to put mailers in the solid category it's something very traditional to the real estate industry it's something we've been doing for decades so i think it is amazing we've heard many stories with that of people getting multiple listings and becoming that agent in a neighborhood most of the people in one neighborhood or on the block will recognize you as the agent because you're consistent with your mailers so i think mailers are highly underrated and oof all right, guys, this next one, this next one's going to get me in trouble, okay? It's going to get me in trouble, guys. Zillow leads. I know how many of you feel with the Zillow leads. Honestly, I really do. But I'm going to have to put Zillow leads in the meh category. Let me explain to you why I'm putting it there. Yes, I know you can get buyer leads. I know you can get a bunch of leads. And I know many team leaders use Zillow and our Zillow partners but it costs way too much to be getting these leads when you could be getting them for so much less for using something like mojo dialer or using red x or something you can be getting these leads for cents you know what i mean you can be dialing up homeowners the people you actually want to go after i think zillow is taking a lot of money i don't think it's worth it considering all of the other lead generation options that we have i would not put all my money on zillow moving on to the next one sphere of influence you know what guys especially speaking from personal experience i'm gonna go ahead and put sphere of influence in the great category many of you new agents get into the business and immediately want to start cold calling you want to door knock you want to do all that stuff which is amazing and it's great but why are you forgetting about the people that you know already why are you forgetting about the people you've already built rapport with? All of these people are insanely important and will impact your real estate business when you first start off so greatly. So make sure you are attacking your sphere of influence before you do anything in real estate. You will be able to close the deal a lot faster than you think. So don't underestimate your sphere of influence. Okay, we've come down to two more cold calling and door knocking probably the most traditional and iconic forms of marketing in the real estate game we got to give it a lot of credit i am actually going to be putting cold calling you know what i i ranked cold calling very high in my video a few weeks ago i'm gonna keep giving it its respect and i am gonna put it in the great category i think cold calling is amazing there's so many different options you can use for cold calling from for sale by owners for rent by owners expires geo lead circle prospecting there's so much you can do with it and now with door knocking this is another one i ranked high in my other video but if we're really talking about the overall general picture i'm actually not a big fan of door knocking and now a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this and i'm totally fine with that because a lot of people are going to be like well isn't it way better to door knock rather than cold call because you're getting in the person's face and you're you know yeah you know i think in certain contexts it could be great if you're if you have an open house or if you have a listing in the neighborhood and you want to let everybody know about it i think it's great but going up and knocking on complete randoms doors, I don't think is time efficient at all. Like at all. Like how, how, how many doors can you knock and how many people are going to answer? And I'm going to be honest, guys, not using this as an excuse. It really does depend what area you're in. In LA, for example, I don't answer the door for anybody, especially with all of these like scams that have been going on. People will knock on your door acting like they're somebody and they just bust through the door and stuff like that. It's kind of gotten dangerous so i feel like the value of door knocking is going down with each passing year let's go ahead and take a look at this tier list we only have one at the best we have video marketing as our number one lead generation source i will stick with that forever guys i will i will stick with that forever video marketing is the best especially the direction we're going it is only getting more valuable now at the great category we have networking events open houses social media marketing sphere of influence and cold calling these are so iconic so amazing and such life-changing 
lead generation tools. Now at the solid tier, we have email marketing, mailers, another iconic form of marketing that is so underrated. Same with door knocking, we spoke a lot about it. Passing out business cards and Zillow leads, I put in the meh category. Well, then we don't have anything in the terrible tier. Um, it's really hard for me to like pinpoint something that would be terrible because really, like I mentioned, anything here could get you a lot of business. So that is my tier ranking. I really hope you enjoyed it. Alrighty guys, let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about this video. Do you think I am wrong about anything? Do you disagree with me on some stuff? Let me know down in the comment section below respectfully what you feel about my list and how you feel about these lead generation tools. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Follow me on all my social medias. My Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok will all be down in the description box below. Make sure to subscribe to my weekly newsletter. I post those every single Tuesday. But other than that, I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you all on the next one.